Soundwaves KPFK, the soundtrack of the World Wide Web. I'm your host, The Deacon is speaking on the weekend. And to my right, producer, artist right. extraordinaire, Young Teebs. <laughs> uh, so we had, a, we had a fantastic show today. Uh, we had some technical difficulties, and Teebs was only able to, to rock for, what, like 20 minutes? But uh, he's going to be back on May 23rd, so fret not. He will return shortly. Um, so we're going to play the top five game. Teebs knows what's going on, so we're going to give it to him. So here we go. All right, Teebs, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. All right, man. Let's do, uh, <laughs> now, you, 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 you're living in Los Angeles now and, and right. making music, and long hours in the studio require food. So what are your top five food spots? Top five food spots, man. Top five. Uh, in any order, number one would be my house. I live with Sam now, and he's a ridiculous cook. Really? Yeah, I mean, well, it's not like amazing, ridiculous meals, but it's just like he's making crab cakes or doing French toast at like 2 in the morning. It's just, it's a spot to be right now. <laughs> so the number one would be my, my place. And then number two would probably be in LA. Let me think. What are good food spots? I mean, I don't eat too healthy. Let's say any kind of faux place. Really? Pho, that, that's, that's always a good, good choice. Three would be. Uh, just because it's so close, it's sad to say, but Jack in the Box. Is there a special meal? item on the menu that you're really Yeah, you know, of? actually, I haven't hit it in a while, but the it's uh, the Supreme Croissant. The Supreme Croissant. If you're going to go to Jack, get the Supreme Croissant. That's all you need. It's like two-something. That's your choice. Go to. And uh, that's three spots. Another spot would be my mom's house. That's a good place to eat. Anything guys, in particular that mom makes? Um, anything. She's a really strange chef. She kind of makes the weirdest kind of combinations. Such as? Uh, I'd say, I don't know, like she'll make rice and throw in all kinds of strange little things. I can't tell if it's meat or not, but she's just mixing <laughs> things. And it's good, though. I mean, it got me to where I'm at today, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the champion. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Another good eat spot. Um, this place called, uh, what's it called? Oh, I just had it once, and it was ridiculous. It's this place that has uh, French toast with, it's like a breakfast thing, French toast, but it has cornflakes, like, on top, like, cooked in. Really? Like, cereal on top. Yeah, it's, oh, I wish I could tell you the place. I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'm All sorry. Right. On the 23rd. <laughs> sorry, folks. On 23rd, I'll let you know about that. Yeah. Okay, top five food spots. Okay, good. Yeah, it took a while. So. Uh, let, let's, <laughs> let's do, uh, now your, um... You make music, but you also are a fantastic painter as well. So let's let's kind of take that left turn down that road. Let's top five painters, man. Top five painters. Uh, Joe Soren would be one. I like Draftsman. He's current. He's doing stuff right now. But Draftsman's a really big influence to me. Um, <clears throat> there's more of the obvious stuff. Francis Bacon. That guy's amazing. Who else? He's long dead, though. Um... Who else is really blind my mind? Uh, this guy that just had his first show, I think, last year at Black in Culver City. Uh, Ian Francis, that's another one. And who else would be one more person? I guess my first big influence was my brother. He used to draw a lot, so my brother. He doesn't do much anymore, but that's the last one I think I'd say. All right. And let's do, uh, I'm really curious at this one, man. I, I didn't want to even ask you before the show because I wanted to hear it. <laughs> on video top five producers man of all time of all time oh that's tough we oh. can expand it we can go 10 you can just start naming names <laughs> go ahead just go down the list producers that, that you love people that really messed me up i guess there you go way. there you go good uh, i like that wording <laughs> dim light would be my number one number one that guy he's dude from switzerland you should, everyone should look him up um Dilla is an obvious choice. He's a really amazing producer. Who else has really messed my brains up? Uh, more like contemporary guys. I mean, D Daedalus, he's really... His old stuff really destroyed me. I remember that's like one of the first people that like, got me into really wanting to try something out because it was so such free music. And who else is amazing producers? Does it have to be like producer, producer, just like? Oh music no, I mean, I mean, it could be Quincy Jones, it could be Gamble and Huff. Okay. It okay. could be anybody, man. Norman um, Whitfield. Take see. it back to the soul stuff, whatever. Let's see what else has really touched me. Um. Or just musicians as well. In general. Yeah. Let's see. I named a couple so far. 
who else really touches me right now in my, my head? Let me think. I have to think about that. Big names. I guess Quaz, Mad Lib, Quaz stuff, that was early. That really messed me up. That was like one of the first things that really got me going. And something more off, let me think. Hmm. This is tough. <laughs> this is really <laughs> tough for me. I'm like taking like Alex for these questions. Another person that really messed me up. Um, hmm. Do you like all like the old soul stuff? Like, are you a fan of, like the '70s stuff? You no, know, it's strange because I get asked a lot about this, but uh, when it comes to me and music, like I'm the most unmusically client. Like I don't know as much as I should, kind of thing. Because oh. like, I was never brought up with old music, and I'm actually doing more digging than oh. actually knowing. So it's like a whole new process for me. I think me and Kofi, even John kind of knows about it. We always talk about this. It's like I kind of came up different in the music kind of right. mode. Like I wasn't ever born into it. It was just something I just kind of picked up maybe five, six years ago. So it's just like, whoa, and then now I'm digging back. So I guess much why like some of my answer, a really contemporary artist has really kind of did stuff to me. It's just right. more of a, that's when I got hit by it. I'm like, I missed the whole train that was going on like right. 50 years ago. I'm just right. kind of digging back through carts now. But yeah. That's got to be interesting though. I want, how, how do you think that translates in terms of like, because your stuff is, is it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful mismatch. You know, it's almost like it's uh, perfectly imperfect. Right. You know, do you yeah. think that might kind of be attributed to you're not having a, because you know, like guys that are raised on 70s soul stuff come up and they make hip hop beats that sound with a lot of heavy soul samples. Right. Like, you know, you, you hear that story time and time again, but your stuff seemed to take from whole, everywhere. Yeah, um, you know, I I don't know what to say about it. People tell me, like Kofi, that can come today, he's been telling me just like, because of that fact, that's why my sound is the way it is now. It's more of just like a straight, I don't know, less of what's going on with a lot of hip hop producers, or like, I guess, the little world that I've been kind of connected into, but. Yeah, it just has its own little unique feel to it. I guess that's. I guess it's more of like a blessing. I don't know. I'm just really. It's like a weird ignorant bliss that kind of happened, and yeah. now I'm just learning about stuff. So right. it's. I, I'm really happy that I kind of went in this direction or this process. Well, of not knowing and now it's trying to know or it's trying to know about. And, and and I see I see kind of the tonality of your music carrying over to your paintings. I mean, because it seems very. Your music sounds like what your paintings would sound like if they had a voice. You know, and that's fantastic, yeah. man. Because I think you only are able to kind of have that um, parallel when you're really in touch with what's going on inside, you know? So I think you're really speaking through what you're feeling and uh, we're looking forward to much more from you, man. <laughs> yeah, so, man, I'm working. There's should be an album pretty soon, so hopefully. Oh, when's that, when's that coming out? There's no due date. Uh, there should be an EP somewhere around June or July. Mm. I'm kind of working on all that now. It's on for Brain, Brain Feeder, right? Yeah, Lotus picked me up and so I have to, I'm right now I'm working on the album and an EP for all of that. It should come out this year, so. So, we got to have him do the, uh, it's been a while since you've done a video, so we're going to do the gem drop. The gem drop is uh, at the end of each in video interview, you just drop a gem on the kids. And, uh, yeah, man, so go ahead and drop a gem on them. Um. Teebs. Oh, he's <laughs> sitting up in his seat. Yeah, well. <laughs> Well, if, you know, people listening, if you're really into music and it's something you kind of want to pursue, I guess any kind of art form, regardless of what you know, or cause that's kind of the path I went. I, had, I, have no, I didn't know anything. I just kind of went into it. Just do what you want. Do what you feel. Uh, you know, <laughs> enjoy it. Just have fun with it, I guess. And don't listen to people if they kind of say you shouldn't follow what you're trying to do. Because, you know, if you listen to them, then you won't get a chance to express yourself how you'd like so do do what you want <laughs> enjoy it and don't listen to anybody <laughs> fantastic that was beautiful <laughs> words from young teams uh he'll be back on may 23rd we are sound waves kpfk john john from yes yes y'all true radio to my left uh we hope you guys enjoyed the music you can catch the audio from his episode episode 35 on the website soundwaveskpfk.com teams did a live set the last half hour of the show and uh there's no playlist, unfortunately, but he will be back on the 23rd, and we'll have a full playlist. We'll have all our ducks in a row. It'll be fantastic. Until then, much love.